What's going on, everyone? How are you doing today? This is Crypto Foxy. In this video, I want to talk to you about a hack that had happened uh, early today and uh, what cryptocurrencies it is currently affecting. Um, there has been a large um, amount stolen from a, a certain crypto exchange. I'm going to let you know what that is in just a moment. Please remember to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get into it. All right, so we can see here uh, millions of XRP tokens, among other cryptocurrencies as well, have been stolen from Polynex Hot Wallet. So here I can see uh, XRP Forensics has reported a significant security breach at the cryptocurrency exchange Polynex, leading to the theft of 3.1 million XRP. Various other cryptocurrencies has all, have also been stolen from the exchange's Hot Wallet. Um, so the extent of the heist, um, Boys and Alert, uh, a crypto uh, cybersecurity firm, sorry, specializing in cryptocurrency transactions, revealed that hackers drained approximately 114 million dollars worth of diverse cryptocurrencies. So it includes 32 million USDT Tether, around 284 Ethereum, and 86 and a half uh, wrapped uh, BTC along with 35 different types of tokens on the Tron blockchain. Uh, so they are currently busy tracking the flow of these stolen funds. Um, they're collaborating with other exchanges as well to, uh, to, to see if they can do something about, uh, about you know, the hacker's going to have to cash out somewhere. And uh, that's what they're, they're looking at to tracing this money. Uh, the owner of the exchange, Justin Sun, he confirmed that the exchange would fully reimburse the affected funds through a series of posts on the X social media. Uh, he affirmed that its commitment to users announcing a 5% white hat bounty for the hacker in exchange for the return of the stolen assets. So this happens a lot for um, helping them understand the uh, what the vulnerability is. Um, a lot of times exchanges will say, okay, you give us the funds back, let us know how you took them, and we'll give you this 5%. I mean, 5% on 114 millions is pretty significant. And I think, you know, you can just walk away free, you know what I mean? They're not going to get charged, whatever. Um, so that's why a lot of these hackers do this. Uh, they usually are looking for a bounty. Some of them just keep it all, and they they think that they can just get away with it. But um you know, the exchange has given the seven-day ultimatum for the hacker's response um, before per, um, proceeding to involve law enforcement. So they are going to take uh, legal action on this uh, this um, hack. Moreover, they are, are exploring collaborations with other exchanges as well and partners to aid in the recovery of funds. So I do know, like, you know, if they reached out to, say, you know, like the top exchanges, Binance, all, you know, Crypto.com, you know, whoever, and uh, said, hey, you know, these are the cryptocurrencies that were stolen. They could potentially uh, flag them when they come in and try to find out who that person is and and ultimately report them. But it is having um, not really having too much effect on the market right now. Uh, we do see that the global market cap is at one point four one trillion. It is up three point five three percent over the last day. Um there's lots of cryptocurrencies still, you know, presenting in the green when on the 24-hour chart. Um, FTT token is at number one. You freaking DGENs, I'm telling you, why the heck are you guys pumping the FTT token? I have no idea. I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. Um, I don't think anything good can come of that, but uh, we'll see, I guess, right? Uh, Terra Luna is up nicely as well. We have Terra Classic, Immutable, Solana, Injective. Um, a lot of the top cryptocurrencies are still in the green on the 24 hour. Um, so it's not affecting us quite so much. Um, XRP did notice a, a downtrend today, um, but they have not been, uh, you know, they have not been uh, faring out well as of late anyways. Uh, just a lot of legal business still going on with the SEC. And uh, now the hack of uh, a lot of XRP tokens has definitely probably uh, put a damper in things. But uh I'll let you guys know if anything comes about this, um, if the funds get returned. Um, good on Justin Sun for saying at least telling people that they're going to be good for it. Um, we don't have, you know, the security like we do with banks, right? You know, uh, the FDIC insurance and such. Like, you know, you're always taking a risk when you're leaving your funds on an exchange, which is why uh, crypto DeFi wallet is definitely essential for every trader's needs. Um, I do recommend uh, Ledger is a great option, and there's many others out there as well. 
Um, there is a link in my description down below for an affiliate link uh, for Ledger, and it does you do purchase directly from the manufacturer's website, which is what I also uh, I always recommend that. Um, never purchase a Ledger or any uh, hardware wallet uh, over a secondary market like Amazon. Um, you're just you know just just to be safe, right? You might as well come right from the source. Um, but th thank you so much for tuning into this video. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.